Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. I received a gift from Artix. I've reviewed many of their products as they've been released throughout the years, and they sent me a present for Christmas. And if you're like me, you've been doing arts and crafts, you've been painting for a long time, and your family probably doesn't buy you art supplies for Christmas because um, they don't know what you have or what you need or whatnot. So I thought it might be just kind of fun to go through this. I have no idea what's in this box. Um, and just kind of like vicariously get an art present, I guess. If, if this isn't your cup of tea, skip the video. I know hard feelings. I, you know, I totally get it. But I thought it might be kind of fun. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to post this, to be honest. But, uh, but we'll see. But Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So first of all, the box is great. They sent a gift last year for Lunar New Year, and I saved the box and I keep my twine in it. So I'll probably use this box for because I have more twine than will fit in the box, which is crazy. But see what I mean? I see we have all the things. So it's very hard for like our friends and family to give us crafty gifts. Um, <clears throat> Merry Christmas, Happy Chinese New Year. That's wonderful. They are a company that is manufactured in China. Uh, all the products are manufactured in China, and I believe the company is based out of China as well. Uh, so that's nice. I imagine they're probably giving these to a lot of their um, um, uh, people that have reviewed their products. So here we have some, oh, we got some um, masking tape. This is, it's like washi tape, but it's actually wonderful for taping down like the borders. Like in, if you're like in a sketchbook and you want to tape down the borders because it's very low tack, so it doesn't rip. Uh, so that's nice. We got three of these. I think you've probably seen me use these before. Um, and I, Paul Rubens has some too. I think the Paul Rubens ones are more of like a masking tape and the, the Artix ones. Paul Rubens and Artix are somehow related. Um, I, it might just be that they have the same American distributor. Um, they might not be related other than that. But uh, yeah, it's just a gold, a gold a foil washi tape. You actually, you know what? Do they all say Artix? You actually could use these on craft projects too because it's a, there's a good amount of tape that's just the gold design that doesn't have the brand name on it if you wanted to use it for that and not have a brand name. You've got some filler here. I'm going to try to like leave that so it doesn't obscure things. So I wonder what this is. I don't know if this is all going to be art supplies, to be honest. I have no idea. Let me just very carefully... Ah! The bags are so pretty. I don't want to... I want to be able to reuse them. I always reuse gift bags and gift boxes and stuff because um, I always feel bad about all the wrapping waste and, and whatnot with the holidays. So... And it's more convenient. I mean, if you can reuse something, you don't have to go out and run out and buy it. My goodness. Luckily, these bags are nice and they're not tearing when I pull the, the tape off of them. Okay, I'm just being everybody's grandmother now and trying to save the paper. I'll, I'll remove that tape later. Let's see what we have in here. This does not look like an art supply. Let's see. That's a pretty bag, though. Um, what a nice box. Oh my gosh, aren't these pretty? <gasps> I love ceramics, as you know. I've just started a hobby in pottery. They're teacups. <gasps> oh, those, oh, they're heavy. Those are gorgeous. There's, um, there's a bird and a lily, a lily pad, and it looks like a flower, like a water lily. And it's, the bird almost looks like um, a pine cone with the tassels. But I'm sure it's a specific type of bird probably they have in China. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, you know what? It might be a duck. Look at this one. It looks almost like a wood duck. Wow, these are gorgeous. I wonder what that... I might have to like... Um, oh, look at the foot on that pottery. This is really well made. This is very well made. I don't see any seams. It might have been thrown. It feels like it was maybe thrown because you've got this uh, trimmed foot here. And the maker's mark. I might. I'm gonna have to see if I can identify the maker's mark. This is gorgeous. This is really nice. Oh wow! I will. I would drink. I would definitely drink tea out of those. Oh, because I think if you have something special, you should use it. Those are. Thank you, Artix. That is really lovely. Those are nice cups. And it's 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 funny when you start doing a craft. When you start a new craft, you start to see like when you go to look at the things that are commercially made or made in crafts, you start to you appreciate them more because more because you know how hard it is to make things uniform and how to make things. Because um, like the weight of that makes me think it's it was thrown on a wheel because it like something that was slipboard I think wouldn't be so dense. It would be uh, it would be a little bit lighter. But wow, that's gorgeous. So maybe this isn't gonna be um, maybe this isn't gonna be. Uh, art supplies. This, oh, I know what this is. I don't have these though. I but I've I've seen other 
people review them. Oh, guys, these are these are travel water brushes. <gasps> travel paintbrush set. Paint anywhere at any time. The smell will dissipate after being used for some time. <laughs> Actually, I don't smell anything. This doesn't smell at all. <laughs> that makes me laugh though that it says that on the uh, that it says that on the packaging. You know, I love truth in advertising though. So it looks like we've got about a number five or six pointed round, and it's metal. I thought I thought these were plastic when I was seeing other people. Uh, review them. They're metal, and they have an inner cap as well. Like, but when you when you first get the brush and you use it and you take off that cap, don't try to put these these on. If you feel bad about the plastic, wrap them in washi tape or pretty fabrics and and threads and stuff, and make really fancy artsy fartsy beads. It's a really fun way to use those brush uh, those brush heads. If anybody wants a video on that, you can let me know. Uh, Saki uh, Saki is the name, and this one oh is probably about. I would say a number one or two, probably number two. So it's probably like a number two and a number six or number two and a number five. I don't have, uh, let's see, do I have brushes that small? I don't think I have travel brushes as small as this. So that's nice. And you're not gonna lose them because look how nice and bright they are, but they are metal. They're like an enameled metal. Oh, it says it's a number eight and a number two. I would not call this a number eight. I would say it's more like a six in, in like traditional Western sizes, but yeah, I always, it does also seem like travel brushes. I find that long handle brushes, the sizes, look, the, the sizes that are on them are much smaller. The numbers are smaller than what you would get. Like the brush heads seem a lot bigger than what the size says. And then you've got your short handle regular brushes. And then travel brushes, with the exception of the cheap Joe's Pseudo Sable, I found travel brushes sizes to be, um, the, they're smaller than what the size would indicate. But that number two looks about right, so. I don't know. That's cute though. And I'm happy to have that. And it's got a little, um, a little vinyl case or vegan leather as it's now usually marketed. Oh, that's cute. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, it's got a little, a little snap. It's not a magnet. It's an actual, I think it's an actual snap. Maybe it's a magnet. Yeah, it's a magnet actually. Oh, that's cute. What else does it say about it? I've seen these on Amazon. Uh, please cap the brush after it dries out completely. Do not scratch the pen body. Avoid sun exposure. Do not soak in water for a long time. Those are just your general, general, um, I like their packaging. Uh, it's very simple. It's, uh, kind of a general thing anyway. Oh, there's no holes in the bottom of the brushes. There's no holes in the cap, so that's why it says to dry them before you recap. There you go. That's nice. I like that. Two for two, Artix. Let's see, eight metallic watercolored paints. Oh, you know what? I think these are the, yep, I already have these. Um, but they are really nice metallic paints, but I'll, I would wait to open these up until I used up the first set I had. But um, it, they're pearlescent paints and they're about that big and they're like uh, parasols. Like uh, they look like umbrellas. They're just like they do on the back of that page. They are really nice. They're kind of pricey, but they are very nice paints. And then we have an acrylic marker set, which I actually, oh, you know what? I think these are different than the ones that I have because the ones I have are pastel. So let's open these up because I think these are a different colorway. I do like them. They're brush tips and you don't need to pump them if these are like the ones I already have. And I can run over and grab the, uh, the open metallic ones that I have. Let's see here. Are these, oh, these are different. These are vibrant colors. I'll show you how I keep my Artex acrylic paint pens because I gotta say, I think I mostly have Artex and Derwent metallic paint pens at the moment because, um, because my kids, my daughter Lila has taken all my uh, Poscas and older ones. So, oh, there's where those scissors went. So I just put them in here so I can keep them flat and also because they keep a little bit sealed up a little bit more here. I have some backups for the Derwents that aren't open yet. Um, but yeah, I like these because they don't have to be pumped and they don't dry out. They're like Tombow. Um, they are a lot like the Tombow brush markers for the long ones that are double-ended and they're reactivatable with water. The short ones like the ones that I just got in Brights and the, um, the pastel markers. Those are waterproof. So um, I keep them in a drawer like this rather than out in the open rack that I used to have them in because 
I, that'll just help them stay, I think, fresher a little bit longer. But I also like to rifle through them, just set this on my desk and rifle through them. So I haven't dumped these out yet because I intended to do a little demo with these first before I added them into the into the uh, mix. But um, I love the Artix acrylic markers and they have a new set that I didn't even know about. So I'll probably keep those in their box too until I get a chance to... Um, I, to review them, to check them out, to check out these colors. And I think they probably came out with these because the other set like this was pastel and they were completely waterproof. Their other set, their other sets that are the double-ended ones are not waterproof. They're more like gouache markers, which actually I really love. Um, but, and this was like some feedback I gave them when they first sent me the, the first set. I was like, you know, these are really great, but they're not, they're not waterproof. I don't think they'd be uh, suitable for, like if you drew on a, um, like a, a water bottle to like market and send your kid to school with it. If it gets wet, it's washing right off, um, which could be a benefit depending on what you want, but but they're not waterproof. If you're like painting on rocks to put outside, like rocks of kindness, um, they're gonna rinse right off. So then they came up with these and they updated their description on Amazon saying what the differences was between the markers. I don't think they realized at the time that they were waterproof. I think there might be some acrylic binder in the other kind, but not enough to make them waterproof, but that's probably why they could flow through the tip. These are waterproof and somehow they're flowing through a brush nib but they don't have the fine nib on them and I think that's why because if it was a true acrylic marker and it had that fine nib and it wasn't a nib you had to pump it just wouldn't stay not from hardening up and drying out so uh so I'm excited for these this is exciting because I don't have these but let me go grab the um the parasol ones because they are really cute and I have them right here because I keep all my watercolors in my office because I never know what I want to play with and you know, they're a lot of fun, but these are pretty slow wearing, so it'll be a while before I use these up. Um, but if you look, this is what they look like. They come out of this little, it's like a uh, foam, well, it's like a plastic coated foam insert, so you can move them around or you can just pull out the ones you want. Um, they almost look like makeup, and I think this would be a really interesting palette to reuse at some point, or even just reusing the pans once you do use them up. But they are pricey, they are very reflective and very beautiful. Um, so I do recommend them from that. I just think they're a little bit on the expensive side, uh, but they are definitely a nice gift. So that's probably why they put them in here. So wow, Artix, thank you so much. I am so excited to try out these water brushes and the acrylic paint pens. And I can already tell you, these are really nice. Um, yeah, they're definitely more on the luxury end, I would say. But, um, but that's that. And that's pretty, that's pretty exciting because it's really hard to get an artist something they don't already have and I don't already have these two things, so. And the teacups are just gorgeous. You wanna see those again? They're so pretty and I love this box. I bought my husband a sushi set um, a few years ago. We, f we got into making our own sushi and it was, so, it was very pretty. It had like that kind of like crazed raku type, I don't know if it was raku, but it had that kind of glazing on it and it had two rectangle plates and it had two soy sauce cups and two sets of chopsticks and they were just luxury and they came in a beautiful box like this and we keep them in the box like this and I think these are going to have to go with that because it's just a service for two which is you know perfect for us now the kids are off to college um and then we also don't have to worry about things getting broken either so that's going to go right in my cupboard next to my special sushi set and the next time I make sushi um I'm going to put these teacups out I'll have to I have I have a pretty teapot I'll have to use when I do that but these are just so pretty. They're not, I don't think they're hand painted. I think it's more of like a decal on there because that's just way too uniform. But, um, and I think you can almost see some printing there. Some of the like the, um, I don't know what it's called, but uh, de some decals. I know the pottery place I go to sometimes puts decals on stuff like that. I don't know how they do it. I haven't done that, but oh, they're so smooth. They're so well done. Anyway, uh, I just thought I would share that. I hope it didn't sound too braggy or gross, but um, it's, you know, hey, it's kind of fun to look at things being opened. I, you know, you know, you like watching your kids open presents and stuff. Um, I don't know. I gotta look at, I wanna see both both, uh, both layers of these though. I, I don't know if I took the layers out. Oh, these are nice. Definitely they're like the colors in the original brights, the, the ones that are more like wash pens that they have. So, uh, I imagine these will be coming out at some point. They're not out now, as far as I know. But, uh, oh, that's fun. So I probably won't review them right away, just because it's kind of a bummer to review something and then not be able to get them, but I will use them, so. Yeah, they say high adhesion on them to differentiate them from the dual tip ones. I think if you're a painter, 
The and you're not you you don't need them to be waterproof. I think the dual tip ones are are the best. But if you want to if you're gonna use these like on an acrylic painting that you're gonna varnish with an acrylic based varnish, then you would want these. Um, or for crafts that need to be waterproof. But hey, these are fun. Oh my gosh, thank you, Artix. And thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm gonna use every little bit of this because this will go into my, <laughs> I use that to wrap presents. Uh, and I have not done a lick of wrapping, guys. No, I've wrapped one thing for my husband because it uh, it came in and I, I used a piece of scrapbook paper to wrap it just because I didn't have any place to put it. Um, it was small. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these uh, gift unboxings. I probably won't be doing any gift unboxings, but um, if you liked it, let me know. And I wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy crafting. Bye now.